Hello, Choose Lifer. I hope you're doing fabulous and have had a wonderful Thanksgiving week with your friends and family. Um, we did, we had just a spectacular time. And as you can see, the girls have already, my daughters um, have already put out Christmas decorations and made gingerbread houses with friends. And it's been just a, a sweet moments all throughout the week. And so it's been fun, full, and actually super relaxing too. I think almost every day was just a slow morning with the lights on the um, new Christmas tree, as well as um, just, yes, the dogs coming to cuddle. And so it was really, really sweet. I mean, really enjoyed it. And I hope you had a great week too. Um, I'm, today, the Choose Life Choices I wanted to offer you is actually three. As I was sitting and preparing, what I wanted to share with you, um, three things came to mind. Um, one was the power of now, um, now moments, and I'll unpack that in a second. And the second is the vision for 2022, and I'll share a bit about that. And the, the fourth, is, or sorry, the third is choice, just choosing. And so, um, first of all, I want to just say um, the first one, the power of now moments. And I just want to just put um, just an emphasis on today. And we know that today is the day of salvation. Many of us know that verse, that today the choices in our today and our now moments, they really create our tomorrow. And we only get our tomorrow based on what we and what we choose today and how we make the most of today. And, and so, and I will just want to share with you, breakthrough actually happens in just a choice, in just a in just the now today moment. So I want to encourage you with that. Like, do not make light of it. Don't think, oh, it's you know. Oh, Monday evening, it's too late, or no, there's an in the now moment, in the moments, that's where the Lord is for you. And so I just want you to lean into wherever you feel a nudging and a stirring in, in a moment, um, in a, just lean in and just agree with him, align with him, repent of anything, renounce anything, confess anything, because in those now moments, absolutely breakthrough um, can happen. Um, the second thing I want to share with you is what happened on our Thanksgiving. We had a beautiful offer to go to a friend's for Thanksgiving or having an evening and dinner with them. And so that morning, having brunch with the family and just having just a beautiful slow morning. And we had already put up Thanksgiving decorations. The girls are already excited about getting out Christmas decorations um, because we weren't hosting this year. And so it was it was just really beautiful and slow and relaxing. And I decided, okay, let's go around the table four times of all that we're thankful for, for 2021. And it was just so neat with all, um, even their hearts, what they thought of and what they're so thankful for. And then I said, okay, now let's go around three times of what we're going to be thankful for, for 2022. And I would just want to share that that was amazing. It was really beautiful to see them really have vision and faith right? We know faith is the currency of heaven. Faith is what shifts things and that's what moves mountains. And they really just have just a natural raw confidence, a, a faith for what the Lord is going to do in a year from now. And so it was just really fun and exciting to see and, um, or hear what they were, what God was putting in their hearts and they had just an easy faith for big things, not just hoping and desperation, but just like, yeah, in a year, God's going to X, Y, Z. And so, um, of course, all good gifts come from, come from above, come from him. And, um, so I just want to share that with you. One is if you haven't begun, um, you know, I think thankful jour journal of any type, whether that's daily or weekly, or just, sporadically just keeping that close by maybe on your night side um, table of what the Lord is doing and what you're thankful and grateful for but I want to just share with you to as you lean into 2022 um, and begin to begin planning and building as January um, as we embark upon January perhaps what will you be thankful for in November that might help you um, have a more of a vision of what your January and February March should look like as as you um, receive the goodness of the Lord um, in November, thinking oh, all that he's done, all that I'm so thankful for. And so, and then finally, a choose life choice I recommend is just the power of choice. Again, um, it, I feel like almost daily I'm hearing about how freedom is being um, stifled and taken away and robbed. And so we do know that the enemy comes to kill, still and destroy. 
but Jesus came to give life, life to the full. John 10, 10, that's the Zoe life. I wrote a book about the Zoe life and this abundance that Jesus came to bring. But um, very specifically, that so much of his abundant Zoe life is connected to the communion union with him inside you, with God's spirit inside you. And um, you can choose that is uh, a lot of your freedom is going to come out of that choice of that communion union with him, that you can never be robbed from that, can never be stolen from that. Yes, there may be some regulations and laws and a lot of external things in your life, but that power, that life, that freedom inside you, that is what will um, saturate and be your, be your everything and absolutely overflow into people, spaces, and places and into the world around you, the external world around you. So just want to um, encourage you the choice of communion and union that is connected to freedom. And so may you run with these three things, the power of now, take advantage of your now moments, um, see your vision of 2022. What are you going to be thankful for in a year? What is the Lord going to do that you have that knowing inside you? Like, yeah, in a year, the house, we're not going to be renting anymore. We'll have a house or what, whatever that is that you feel like, yes, that's what the Lord is doing. Um, or, you know, the new job or this, um, a transfer of, 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 you know, you know, location or whatever that might be. Like, what is, what is, but you have that strong knowing that, yeah, a year, the Lord for sure is going to be doing those things. And then again, that third thing is the choice of intimacy, communion, union with the Lord inside you. And um, absolutely, that is a, a place if you live in that affection and closeness with him, the enemy, he cannot come and kill, steal, and destroy from you because he can't, he, that can't there's no separation that can't be taken apart from but it's your choice that will increase the oneness, the oneing with him. So just want to encourage you in those choose life choices. I love you so much. I'm excited to enter into this new year with you, just to, um, to journey with you through December and all the things that the Lord is going to do in our lives. And as we press into this 22 new year, I love you and um, choose life because then your choose life choices, you'll find more freedom. And as you find more freedom, you'll no longer live stuff. You'll take territory. And we know that now more than ever, now is the time for um, these things, taking territory, finding freedom and choosing life. I love you so much. Talk to you soon.